But you gotta let it dip a little bit. Okay. Yeah. What's up, guys? Welcome to the first. We clapped at the same time. We did. That was phenomenal. Phenomenal. Okay. <laughs> Welcome to the first episode of Breadwinners. I am Carly Burgoff. And I'm Courtney Goodson. And so this is the Breadwinners. It is. It is, like we said. First things first, we're starting off every episode with our segment we call Good News Bears. Yes. And basically, there's so much negative media, press, there's just so much bad news in the world. Mm -hmm. So we're going to start every episode with Good News Bears. And the first smidgen, little smidgen mm -hmm. of good news is for those of you who stuck to your resolutions, <coughs> you're about 26 days into it. Yeah, like, basically. That's pretty cool. So my resolution that I kept was to not have a single resolution. And I'll tell you, it hasn't been, it hasn't been easy. It hasn't? No, it really Why hasn't. Because there have been days where I want to work out. Yeah. Or, or I want to save some money. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, no, no. Yeah. I won't do it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, what about you? Well, it's January 26th. It is. And um, my New Year's resolution actually has not kicked in yet because I've declared that Oh, psych. Who's calling you? Actually, it was my alarm. Okay. I press snooze all the time. That's okay. My bad. But anyway, um, my New Year's resolution actually starts on February 1st. Okay. The reason is, is because this was a free trial month. Uh -huh. January was my free trial month. Um, and you faced, what, what went on? Um, I, I mean, I was, I mean, it's just a lot of 2017 stuff that rolled into 2018, mm -hmm. and I'm just okay. not feeling it. So I'm so, declaring yeah. that February 1st is my 2018. So, okay, so my year, my New Year's resolution starts February 1st, okay. and I don't actually even know what I want my resolution okay. to be. We can talk about it. We'll bring it up. We'll figure it out for you. We'll figure it out. Yeah. All right, um, cool. So then moving on, just a small introduction. Um, we're going to talk about ourselves for just a little bit. Yeah. Um, you guys are going to learn a ton about us as the show goes on. Definitely. Um, my name is Carly Berghoff. I am a student at the University of Houston, um, which, by the way, we are recording this at the Valenti School of Communication. Yes. Shout out to the Valenti School of Communication. Yes, thank you. Guys you guys are awesome. Um, and I'm just excited to do this show because I love sports and I love entertaining people. And I think along the way, we're going to become your life gurus. Yes. I have a feeling that... Life gurus? Yeah, I like you'll it. text me. Like, you guys will text me at 2 a.m. Like... Hey, I'm going through something. Yeah. I need a breadwinner advice. Yes, okay. I love it. Okay, Courtney, take it, it away. <clears throat> so, like I said, I'm Courtney Goodson. Um, I'm also a student at the University of Houston. Um, I was an athlete majority of my life. I decided not to um, go to, well, I, I went to, obviously I'm in college, but I decided not to play sports in college because I like to make money. And mm. that's part of the, one of the reasons why we chose this name, I like money, she likes bread, bread literally. Mm -hmm. But um, I like money um, and I like to work a lot. Um, I have a couple of jobs and I just, I love sports. I can't get away from sports. Mm -hmm. I have a couple of brothers in the NFL and like I said, I can't get away from sports. So this is kind of why we started this vlogcast is to kind of like highlight yeah. the good things in sports and to cover hot topics that's going right. on and things like that. And we kind of just want to have fun with it. Yeah. Like this is a laid back vlogcast, mm -hmm. podcast, and whatever let's, you want to call it. let's explain what a vlogcast is because, yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, it's essentially like a podcast, it but is. cooler. Mm -hmm. We're going to have segments for you guys. We actually have a really fun segment in this episode. Um, we're just going to kind of have some fun with it. We're going to interview athletes and people in sports media. And I mean, and gonna even have, entertainment. We're going to dip yeah. off into entertainment as well. We're going to so. do wild things. We're yeah. going to have wild people and we're going to say weird things. Yeah, exactly. It's going to happen. So just get comfortable. Yeah. I'm comfortable. I'm comfortable. It's a little warm in here. Brett, when like it's it feels it is a little hot. No, yeah, it's it cool, is. though. Okay, we're cool. All right. Um, so I guess moving on, um, like I said, you'll learn more about us as the show goes on. It's going to be pretty sweet. Mm -hmm. Moving on, we're doing, um, this is our first out-of-studio segment. I know. Um, it's, it's pretty funny. Um, I came up with this idea a couple months ago and it kind of kind of came to fruition. It's called spoken poetry and um, it's beautiful actually. It's, it actually is. It's I don't know. Grab beautiful. a box of tissues because it's about to get real. It's about to get real. There's I was a lot of emotion say. and um, basically what it is is we take um, the lyrics from some of the most popular rap songs and we speak them to each other. 
Mm -hmm. yeah. And you have to find out who won because mm -hmm. we actually did take points. We did. So you just have to, just have to find out. But it's beautiful. So check it out. All right. Okay, so oh, let's do a cheers first. Okay, ready? Okay. Carly, I stay hot and ready like Little Caesars. <laughs> you knew. You knew. <laughs> it's drop top skirt. My <laughs> <laughs> time out. It's drop top skirt. Whiz off. Who? Are you on it? I can't. Whiz off. Who? Why did you say that? You get the bag and fumble it. I get the bag and flip it and tumble it. Yeah. Straight out the lot, 300 cash. Cash. <laughs> Right, next. Next. That's a point for me. That's a point for Carly. It's 1 1. <laughs> I'm looking for Mrs. Bubblegum. Mm. <laughs> I'm Mr. Chico Stick. I want to da da da. Oh. Because you so thick. And that's all I got. <laughs> I got broads in Atlanta. Mm -hmm. Twist and Dope Lean and the Fanta. Credit cards and the scammers. Hitting off licks in the bando. Black X6 Phantom. White X6 looks like a panda. Going out like I'm Montana. 100 killers, 100 hammers. Good game, Courtney. Good game, good game. Good game. Now we are going to switch in and have my parents do a couple rounds. And this is gonna be hilarious. They are old, they are white. So let's see how it goes. <laughs> <laughs> this is gonna be rough. If she gets through half a line, I'll be surprised. <laughs> Teen drinking is very bad. Yo, I got a fake ID though. <laughs> One, here comes the two, to the three, to the four. Everybody drunk out on the dance floor. Baby girl, Jiggle like she want more. Like she's a groupie. And I ain't even on <laughs> I know a little bitch by the name Chanel. Always wearing Louis but fake Chanel. I'm just trying to nut like Chip and Dale. That's some funny ass shit like Dave Chappelle. Ass in my mail. <laughs> That's a point. That's a point. That's a point. That's please, a point. please, please. I, I rarely hear that kind of language from my wife. That's a point. <laughs> wobble dee, wobble dee, wa, wobble wobble. I'm just stacking my paper, my wallet, look like a Bible. I got girlies, half naked, that shit look like the ghetto. <laughs> It's broccoli. <laughs> Rapper face. Dread headed. Gold and diamond teeth wearing. That just made me. Cause I got that cheese. I keep dairy. Y'all are good. That's a point for Bill. You laughed. <laughs> I just want a rolly, rolly, rolly with a dab of ranch. I already got some designer to hold up my pants. I just want some ice on my wrist so I look better when I dance. Have you looking at it? Put you in a trance. That was beautiful. <laughs> beautiful. <laughs> Not even sure what a roly roly. A Rolex. Oh. <laughs> yeah. I need my money pronto. Get in the morning like Alonzo. Rondo. Green got cheese like a nacho. Alonzo and Rondo are the basketball players. Right? I don't know why they get their money in the morning. That was, that was spoken poetry. Um, Cameron, how do you feel about three white people <laughs> speaking rap lyrics out loud? Like, how does, like, you know... It was, it was, it was definitely a... Uh, it was a wonderful kind of performance by uh, 
your parents? I never thought in my life that my mom would be speaking <laughs> Raxity to my stepdad. Yeah. That was wild. Yeah. So obviously we have fun. a guest here with us. Um, this is our final segment. Our first breadwinner's guest is Cameron Maldo. Ooh, 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 ooh. Um, okay. He is yeah. a UH grad. He played here, um, and now he's with the Miami Dolphins. So we're going to kind of pick his brain about, especially yeah. the Super Bowl mostly, because that's what's important. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> but I do want to know that, you know, how has it been getting acclimated to the new Dolphins program? Um, it's definitely been, <coughs> it's been a long process, you know, I feel like it's been so long since I graduated from Houston, but it's really been just one year. So um, it's been a, it's been good getting to know the guys, getting to know the coaches, whole another program. Um, I've done it three times at Houston, so um, it wasn't that hard for me. I don't think. And do you miss like do you miss the Cougs? Like do you miss U of A? Yeah, yeah. Like um, people ask me all the time, like um, yeah, like how was that 2015 season, 2016 season? Um, I don't know. It's just. I had so many memories and friends, so it was uh, definitely a thing I'll miss. Okay. And also, you're the nephew of Philman uh, Melville Jr. Huh? Um, he played for the Redskins in Tampa Bay. Huh? So did he have any influence on your football career? And if he did, like, you know, in what way? Yeah, uh, I mean, <laughs> growing up, you know, I had a lot of great people around me. Um, came from an athletic family. Like, not just him. Like, I really had other people. Um, play college football, college basketball, play overseas basketball. So I always had an athletic family. So, you know, growing up, I was like, I got to be one of these guys. <laughs> so um, he was definitely a huge, huge impact on me. Are you like the only child? Um, I have a little brother, 13. Yeah. Okay. All right, cool. Awesome. He's going to be bigger than me, by the way. Like, really? I'm 6'5". He's going to be bigger than me. Are you serious? Without a doubt. Like taller? Taller and bigger. probably Dang. bigger. Like, yeah. Okay. He'll be on he, show he already bullies probably. people, so. Okay, little okay. bro. He's going to be up here one day. <laughs> yeah. All right, so let's move on. Um, obviously, Super Bowl's coming up. We have our two elite teams heading that way. <laughs> um, obviously, uh. AFC Championship game was rocking. I mean, Courtney was over. We were at my, yeah. my place. My parents' place watching she the game going the crazy. Crib. She was ticked off because she's not a Pats fan. <clears throat> nope. um, not me even either. that. Me either, right? She's not. She's not even a Jags fan. She's a Patriots hater. That's true. I'm which is the worst. I'm a Patriots hater. I mean, that's like not, common though. That's like a common. Yeah, I know. Like, why who hate on Brady? Success? Who wants why to hate Brady? I'm, I'm, not, I'm not saying I hate on. Do it. you want to be successful? I do. I'm a bread. Don't winner. hate on it. <laughs> nice. <laughs> nice. Ah, nice. Nice. All right. So let's talk about it going forward. We have. It's going to be Eagles Patriots Super Bowl. It's going to be in Minnesota. So. I mean, going into it, I think I'm excited because hopefully a bunch of local Minnesotians, Minnesotians. <laughs> Wait, have, Minnesotas? The Eagles, have the Eagles won a Super Bowl? Not mm. since. I mean, they haven't been to no, the playoffs since 2008. So I think they've been to the Super Bowl. No, they've been to the no, Super Bowl no, I mean, they haven't been to the playoffs 2005, since 2008. And guess who beat them in 2005? The Patriots. The Patriots. Yeah. In so. Houston, right? No. I don't know. Oh, okay. You tell me. Dude, you we're like me. a book, but we're no, not that right. detailed. Okay, all right, all right. All right. Like, all right. So, <laughs> so I'm excited because it's going to be in Minnesota, and I'm hoping that the local Minnesotians, that's what I'm calling them, you just are going to root for the Patriots <laughs> because the Eagles just beat their Vikings. Mm -hmm. um, so first, I kind of want to ask you, I want you to pick an MVP for each team, the Patriots and the Eagles. Okay, Tom Brady. Who, okay, okay. That was quick. Do you yeah, have a Tom reason? Yeah. Do we need a reason? I mean, he, he is the greatest of all time. Like, that's QB. goat. That means goat. I mean, yeah. clutch dude, right? Playmaker. Okay, that's true. Consistent. So, what about the Eagles? Uh, I don't know. Um, I don't know much about. Okay. Um, I haven't been watching Eagles like that. That's mm -hmm. fine. You know. Okay. Um, so you pay attention to what's important, which is the Patriots, right? You know what? I'm going to give the MVP to Jai. Okay. Okay. Because he came from the Dolphins. Okay. Great guy, great running back, and uh, I think he's a playmaker, and he's been making plays for him. Okay. So I'm gonna say Jay. So my MVP for um, the Patriots. Who cares? Oh, uh, tight. <laughs> okay. I'm just playing. Okay. Um, I said Danny Amendola, which I believe is your MVP oh, as well. Oh, he did That's great. He yeah. had a good he game. Did. He did. Really and game. Yeah. you know, he's a playmaker. He makes grabs. He's insane. And I do want to state this for the audience. Um, Bill Belichick. <laughs> One of the great minds Greatest of, of the time, universe probably. probably will be president awesome. one day. <laughs> um, he said, and I quote <laughs> per ESPN, that if you look up good football player in the dictionary, 
Danny Amendola's pictures next to it. So, as a journalist, as a journalist, I did some fact checking. <laughs> I got my dictionary, and I opened a good football player. It's there. <laughs> so once again, I can't. once again, Bill Belichick is right. This is what I have Yo. to deal with at our house when we're watching the game. I, I could know. not. Yeah. I could not. You're, you're funny. Yeah. yeah. And really funny. I, I know it's kind of a cheat, but Eagles MVP, I said, is going to be their defense. You're playing against Brady oh, and some yeah. of the greatest players yeah, in football. That's not an MVP, though. Well, that's what I'm choosing. Okay. So next, what's your MVP? Well, you I mean, said I said, well, I said Amendola for um, Patriots. the Patriots, but for – the Eagles, I'm just basing this off of the la the previous game, like mm -hmm. this last championship game. And Nick Foles showed out. He showed up and showed yeah, out. He that, showed that up and showed out. Like, you can't games. overlook him. Like, that was one of his best games. Yeah, he well, the thing is, people have overlooked him his entire career. He's moved around the league, yeah, no. and now he's, you know, showing up for the Eagles, which I think is exactly. sick. Yeah. Yeah. And then, wait, I do have an honorable mention because Zach Ertz, he had a pivotal, like. That's tight end. Yeah, yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. He like he made uh, some pivotal third down pivotal. conversions. Pivotal. Okay. Yes, he did. Pivotal. And I mean, pivotal. even though Nick it's Foles was, uh, that's the <laughs> pivotal. Hey, pivotal. Uh, yeah, right. he did. Okay, okay yeah. sweet. Okay, so, so then. No, wait, wait. Okay. How are y'all not gonna select Tom Brady as the MVP? Though? I don't. I'm a so Patriots hater, so she's I a Patriots okay, hater. Right, okay, okay, okay. Yeah. So, so like, how are you I not? feel like right. he's like a solidified MVP. So I just wanted to kind of like. Shine some light on some other Somebody talent. Else. Okay. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Right. Okay, so overall, who's winning the Super Bowl? Patriots. Okay. But I want the Eagles but, to win. But defense wins championships, so that's true. Yeah. Eagles can get some pass rush on them. They have really good D line, um, good DBs. Okay. I don't know. Well, you said Patriots already. So. I mean, like honestly, <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. Even though I'm a Patriots hater, like. Brady is clutch, Brady. and he's clutch in like the last five minutes of every game. No, he you plays get him in, in a deficit. So you play him. If he's in a deficit, he gets pissed here off. Here we go. It's not here we go. It's facts. <laughs> so basically, get, what you're saying do is, you, to get did Brady you guys pissed. watch the last Super Bowl? I'm just asking. I mean, did you? Yeah. Did you? For, for a short amount of time. Right. Was I that a was it. that a deficit? If you watch for a short amount of time, time, they probably. You thought thought like My point is. Get Brady in deficit, he gets pissed off. So he's either playing great <laughs> when he's in a good mood or even better when he's pissed off. So, so basically, are you advising the Eagles to get Brady pissed off by sure. putting some points up on the boy? First? Sure, that'll be a good game for me. I don't want to sit at home and snooze. I want to see Jay score a couple touchdowns. Yeah. That's what I want to see. Yeah. Well, so. Maybe one, but that's why I'm rushing until there. This girl right here, right. I can't. <laughs> All right, so thank you so much for being here. We actually got you something for every guest. So if you're watching at home wow. and you're talented and you want to be a guest on our show, we're going to get you a little breadwinner gift. So bread we winner. brought you some Cajun seasoning. Because? Because you're Cajun. Uh, 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 Excellent. Uh, 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 Cajun seasoning. It's two gringos. So just okay. think of my mom and stepdad because they are the two whitest people I know. And <laughs> this is for you. This is like you good coffee season. Don't put it on fish. Something. Like you're allergic to fish. We know that. Yeah. So put that on whatever. Whatever. Toothbr you can put it on a toothbrush. Put <laughs> that little Cajun seasoning in the morning. Dang. Get the little Cajun um, breath going in the morning. Yeah, yeah. that's good. Okay. That's fiery. All right. Okay. It's super delicious. That's it is. Do you cook, Cameron? Sure. Do I cook? Yeah. Um, no. I just don't. No. Whenever I get Ladies, home from working he out, cook. Uh, when I get home from working out and stuff, it's kind of hard to you know dedicate yourself to making a meal. Well, see, that's why so you don't health your teeth is not important so to you. Is you what you're saying. Health is not important to you. I mean, it is. Miami, are you listening? <laughs> health, is <not laughs> health is important to me. All right, I keep a good body fat. Yeah, yeah, okay, okay. 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 Right. Thank you so much for being with us. <laughs> yes, thank you. That Cameron. wraps up thank our you. first episode of Breadwinners. Awesome. Um, Follow him on Twitter and Instagram. Yeah, what's your, what's your social, like your social media tag? I'm basic Cam Malvo. Okay. Okay. All right. Keep it basic. Basic Maybe. and unhealthy. Every social media. Yeah. Okay. That's cool. <laughs> hey, <laughs> someone's got to do it. Thank you guys so much for watching. <laughs> Thanks for Check us me. out, um, I guess, in a couple weeks. We're yeah, going to try to air weeks, this every yeah. two weeks um, until we get our footing. Um, I just want to say a huge shout out to the Valenti School of Communication. They hooked us up. They hooked us up. I really appreciate you guys. Like, like without y'all, like we wouldn't have been able to put this together. Dr. Temple North, ah, uh, Ward Booth, yes. um, Craig Crow, and his whole class of people right. helping us. They're behind the scenes right now. I'm smiling at all of them. They're adorable. Y'all are awesome. Be awesome. Thank you guys so much for watching, and check us out next time. Awesome. All right. Out. Peace out. Peace. <laughs>